when we opened the season of Lent last, last Ash Wednesday, our mental connection with Lent is it is a season of sacrifice. So on Ash Wednesday, many of us decided, I will give up on this. I will give up food. I will give up drink. I will give up internet. I will give up many things. Because the season of Lent is understood to be doing things for God. And in doing things for God, what happens to us? We become more gloomy, we become more sad because our stomach begins to ache, our heads ache, our bodies are uncomfortable because we are experiencing withdrawal symptoms from our addictions. But the season of Lent is not just a season of giving up. The season of Lent is not just a season of offering things for God. Because the season of Lent is rather the time to understand what God has done for us. The season of Lent is not about what man can do for God. The season of Lent is about what God has done for us. It is not about doing things for God. It is rather recognizing how much God has done for all of us. And if that is our attitude about Lent, then we can understand that the season of Lent can be a season of joy. It can be a season of happiness and satisfaction and fulfillment because God has done so much for me. That is why the season of Lent, while it is a season of penance, it is also a season of joy because it is a season to understand how much God has done for me. So the fourth Sunday of Lent is called a season of rejoicing, a day of rejoicing. It is like a break from our fast. It is the day to recognize, rejoice, the Lord is near, be glad the Lord is near. Be glad the Lord has loved you. Be glad the Lord has done so much for you. And then I ask you, how? How can we be happy during Lent? And how can we be happy during this season of penance? I will offer you three gestures. The first one if you want to be happy, is look up. Look up into the heavens and see the infinity of God's love for you. Actually, sky has no limit. What we see with our eyes is not really the limitation of the sky. So I invite you to look up, and in looking up, look at the sky, not the roof of the house, not the roof of the restaurant, not the roof of the mall, not the roof of the church, but when you go outside, look up and see the beauty of the infinity of God's love, and then say to yourself, God made this for me. God made this infinite sky for me. And therefore, I am at peace. I am happy. I have nothing more to ask for. I may be sick. I may feel defeated. I may feel lonely. Be without a friend. But look at the sky and how infinite God's love is for you in that sky. And then looking up, be happy again. The second gesture I invite you to consider is look inside. Look inside your soul. Because inside your soul, you are already happy. 
And yet, and yet, we start to think that I can only be happy if I get this. I can only be happy if He is with me. I can only be happy if I have that position. I can only be happy if I have that property, if I have that house, if I have that car, if I have that money. But when you look inside your soul, you will understand that, my gosh, I am already happy because all the reasons for happiness are already implanted in my heart. And yet here I am looking for something that is so temporary, that is so trivial. Look up. Look inside. Look into your soul and see how blessed you are already inside. And the third gesture I invite you to do is to look outside. To look outside and see many people in need. You know what happens when you see people in need and you help? You also find joy. Joy is not in self-service. Joy is in looking out, seeing those in need, seeing those who cry, and doing something beautiful for them. The mark of our age is that we have become so self-conscious. We pursue happiness for ourselves. But haven't you noticed? The more you run after happiness, the faster happiness runs away from you. Because happiness is not to be pursued. Happiness is only to be discovered right in front of you and in the love that you share with those in need. Look up and see the infinity of love. Look inside and see how great you are. Look outside and see those in need and see the power of love to make them whole, to make you happy.